Master Trainer and Master Breeder David Harris here and today we're going to take another stab at pricing. Every day, really honestly, every day of my life I get calls about personal protection dogs and people really struggling trying to understand pricing. So I'm going to take another stab at pricing and I'm going to start with Basic Economics 101. Okay, Basic e Economics is this guys, supply versus demand. So one of the things hard to understand about supply is there is no factory turning out personal protection dogs. I need to back off and give me my space. It takes a lot of work and it's personal work. It's not something that can be done in mass where these are being punched out in volume. It's really not possible to create dogs in volume in a factory. So that's really a thing to understand. There's a limit to how many dogs can be developed because there's a limit to the skill set involved. It really requires a lot of love, dedication, and years and years and years of practice and skill to develop a dog that is capable of going up against a full-grown man with a weapon but yet safe out in public. And I would really like to take a minute here to juxtapose military and police dogs versus a personal protection dog. The bar is way, way, way higher yes. for personal protection dogs than it is police or military dogs. Police and military dogs do not have to be social. I'm not saying they're not. I'm not picking on military or police dogs here, so don't send me any negative comments. I don't need that. Police and military dogs have a job. The job is to get in there, destroy the enemy, do their job quickly and efficiently and not ask any questions, okay? They don't have to be good in public. You can pet him if you like. They don't have to think through, rationalize and take public pressure from little children and drunk Uncle Bob. They don't have to deal with that, okay? They live in their little space, they come out, they do their job, they go back to their space. So personal protection dogs have to be in a family environment. They have to be able to go where you go. If they can't go with you, they can't protect you. Other companies talk about, you know, when you're out in public, you gotta put a muzzle on your dog and you could never have another pet or you couldn't have a cat or you couldn't do all this. That's not something you're gonna hear from this company. So the bar is very, very high for a personal protection dog. So that is one thing that's an aspect of price that people don't take into consideration is the fact that there's a lot of hours go into development. If you've watched some of our thousands and thousands of videos, you'll get a sense of the amount of hours that we put into these dogs. So rare, because it's time consuming. Rare because the skill required for this kind of work is not common. Not every person, not every trainer has the ability to do this kind of work. It's something we put years and years and years, decades of time into learning how to develop. So it's rare and rare things tend to cost more. So let me add another layer of rare in here. A true man-stopping dog, a dog capable of going up against a full-grown man with a weapon with intent to harm you and your family, that kind of dog is rare. Even in police and military dogs, there are not that many that are that powerful that they can go up against a man in that situation. Now, layer in the fact that this same dog that is that powerful has to be gentle and kind to your children to your company, to your housekeeper, to the pool boy, to all the different stimulus that they have to deal with throughout the day. And that takes a level of confidence that is higher than the average police or military dog has to deal with. Those dogs are trained with completely different techniques. I have a whole nother video on this subject of are they safe? talking about personal protection dogs versus military police dogs and how the training is different. So take your time and check out that video. But this video is about rare and price. So when we're talking about pricing, one of the things we have to think about is how powerful this dog is versus how safe he is. And that is a really driving force in our pricing, okay? 
most of our clients don't have an imminent threat. They're not calling us and going, all right, the guy that you know murdered my blah, blah, blah is getting out of prison and he's coming and we don't have that situation very common, but we do have that situation from time to time and we have to find the right dog for that situation. And every dog and every situation is different. And if you give us enough information, we'll help you figure out what is the right dog, what is the right level of protection you need. But that is a price point driver, power versus safety. And it's, it's tough, guys. It's a hard thing to accomplish with the same dog, okay? You can get a safe dog, get a Labrador, get a Golden Retriever, they're very safe. You can get a very aggressive dog, think, you know, slobbering killer Malinois. Putting those two things together in a dog that can think and problem solve is really, really the hard thing, okay? So those are some really important points that I wanted to make in this video. Another point is accessories. There are dogs that have bells and whistles. They have lots of extras, things that you may or may not care about, like good with cats loves to swim, good on a boat, has traveled on a plane. These are accessories. Sit, down, over. Tricks, we love to teach our dogs tricks and there's a reason behind that. Good, that's it, bark. And we'll delve into that in another video or we'll explain it to you when, we, when you call and we talk in person, but the more tricks and the more fun and the more accessories a dog has will drive prices over a dog that's just basic obedience trained, okay? Experience, how much life and experience these dogs have had. It takes time, it takes money to drag a dog all over God's creation, giving them experience. When you take a dog for the first time into a new environment for you, it's probably not gonna be the first time that dog's been in that new environment because we've done that work. And that's time and that's money, okay? So that's another accessory. Another thing is looks. If a dog is stunningly beautiful, his price goes up compared to the dog doing the exact same obedience, the exact same protection, but maybe is not as attractive. Uniqueness, a certain color that's more popular than another color will drive pricing. Coat type drives pricing. If we have a high demand for low shedding or no shedding, and there's only a few dogs that can do that work, price goes up. If that's what you want, if you want low shedding, power, beautiful, tricks, sweet with kids, all of the bells and all of the whistles, get ready to pay that price. And if you don't want to pay that price, then start throwing accessories out. It's no different than when you go to buy a car. If you want that certain model car and you can't afford it, maybe you can live without heated steering wheel. Maybe you can live without a sunroom. So when you call us, that's the kind of inf information you have to start with. But a really, really important thing to understand about protection dog sales is we advertise our prices. We actually put our prices on our website. So when you go to our website, protectiondogsales.com, and you click on all dogs for sale and you start scrolling down through dogs and you click on that dog's picture, voila, bio, videos, prices, all become available to you and you can study that dog. You can look at that dog. You can read about him, his development, his life, and his experiences, watch his videos, listen to us describe the dog in the video. We're very accurate in our descriptions because we bred them, we raised them, we trained them, they lived in our home, and we know these dogs, unlike other companies who import these dogs from other people who got them from other people who got them from other people, and they're just making up a story they think will make you happy. So pricing, it's very complicated, it's multi-layered, but here's one thing you can be sure of. We understand the market, we understand demand, we understand our dogs, and when we put it on the website at a certain price, it's accurate, okay? So when you see the different prices of the different dogs, there's always a reason. And maybe that reason doesn't matter to you. Call us, we will help you understand that pricing and all the different considerations that go into it. So once again, hope that helps. We love talking to clients. We love making the right match. Give us a call, talk to us. We have tons of educational videos just like this one to help you understand the process of buying a personal protection dog.